Hello community, welcome to Thrifting Thursday. I am Laura, I am the host here at Mrs. Purple Paws. I am so glad you tuned in for Thrifting Thursday. We're gonna jump right into this week's topic, which is candles. I absolutely love thrifted candles to the extent that I have a very hard time paying full price anymore for a candle. Um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is my absolute favorite. So it's coming right out at the beginning, guys. Here we go. Um, this is an enormous heavy brass, I think, thing. Um, it came really tarnished. It was not pretty. I cleaned it up with just some, um, I had like a silver cleaner, which said it was safe to use on uh, brass. So I took a rag and I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Spray painted it purple, and now I have this absolutely gorgeous piece. I'm not taking this, well maybe I will, maybe I can take this off without causing too much problem. There you go. So if you guys can see the spike on there, it is substantial. It is really big. It's like an inch long, so like this long. When I put a pillar on here, I mean it is on there. It is very, very stable. This is not, I mean, you can see it can get bumped. A cat can bump into it. It is not going to get tipped. Like I am putting pressure on this now. It does not move. It lives in my kitchen. I absolutely love it. So this was like a thrifting, crafting combination piece. One of my all time favorites, um, spray painting random things purple because everything should be purple. And um, there the candle just went out. So those of you who are seeing smoke, the wax moved finally when I set it over here. So no, nothing's on fire. It just went out. I'll relight it here in a second. But um, I buy all kinds of pillars. It just so happens all the pillars I have right now are purple, except for this one. I changed um, from this one, which is like a darker purple. It was full size. It was the same size as this one when it started. I'm about halfway through it. It smells, some of them don't smell. Um, this one and the white one are unscented. This has like kind of a mild mulberry. I don't really get the pillars for the scents, but I love coordinating the color to the season, which is why I changed from the dark purple to the white for summer, because I thought it was lighter. There's also a little story about this white candle here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's this residue here. Um, on the front. That is because this candle was someone's wedding candle from 1993. So I found it in the thrift store. It was half off because it had been there long enough to rotate through all their sales, you know, all their colors like the stores do. So it was on like the deep, deep discount. But it was somebody's wedding candle from 1993. And this, where this residue is, somebody had just taken a paper invitation, I'm assuming, or announcement and like stuck it on, adhered it somehow to the candle. That is so specific. I'm like, nobody who knows them, or even them apparently, want this candle anymore. So I was like, no one's gonna buy this with that thing on it. So I bought it for like 50 cents for a huge pillar, came home, took off the um, invitation piece. It came off in like two or three chunks. And so now I'm burning the white pillar and I consider myself having saved the candle from ending up in the landfill because a perfectly good pillar should be burned But before we move it on. Um, I don't keep candles for the look of them. I don't know if anybody still does that anymore, but in this house, if I own it, it is going to get burned at one time or another. Um, these are my favorite brand. This is Home Interiors. This one is Baked Apple. Um, it has never been lit. Its wick is perfectly good. And this, again, came from a thrift store. It was less than $5. Um, I got this one out of town at a little thrift store. That's part of the fun of traveling is you get to go to different thrift stores. So there was a Home Interiors one. This is a Simply Home, which is a shoot off of Yankee Candle. This came from the same place. And I'm guessing the same lady's candle cupboard because somebody went through and was like, I've had these for six years. I'm never going to use them. This one has been lit because the wick is burned, but I, you guys won't be able to see it from there, but like barely, like barely, it still has unburned wax around the edge. So they must have lit this for not even 10 minutes and decided they absolutely hated it. The fragrance is beach towel. So it's getting ready to come out as we enter spring to summer. 
Um, I typically have a harder time finding the summer scents for some reason. What is really, really abundant is the uh, fall scents and the winter scents, which makes sense because that's when a lot of us do candles. This one is $4.99 and I know that because I left the tag on and there is one, two, three tags to remind me that this one was $4.99. I have no idea if I paid full price, half price, um, but it is one I thrifted earlier this year and it's like a caramel. It's not exactly an apple. It's some kind of baked good. Um, it doesn't have a label telling me what it is, but I just obviously go by scent anyway. Um, it is a home interiors. It is like the larger version of um, home interiors, I'm pretty sure. So these will be the same brand. Um, then I found a whole bunch of these. This is Dune Grouse by Yankee Candles. So this is a votive size. Again, it's new in the plastic, so it has never been never been done. And I keep a certain amount of like glass little votive holders because I don't know what size of candle I'm going to be finding. I do tend to keep like one of each holders around. I apologize, this video is just like keeps getting longer. We're at like six minutes talking about candles. I got just a couple more here for you. This one is traditional Yankee candle. Um, I can tell because there's a label on the bottom. Um, it was $3.99. It is red and green mix, so it's probably some kind of pine cinnamon combo. It has barely any scent left. So wherever this was stored originally, um, it has been lit. It was probably lit maybe once. This looks like maybe an hour, two hours worth of burn on it. Um, it has a lot of life left in it, but it doesn't have much fragrance left. So whoever stored this stored it with the lid off. And it has been long enough now that it's lost a lot of its scent. This is, this is mine. If you're wondering what this is, you can drop a comment below. I'm happy to tell you. But the short of it is they used to sell these at Yankee Candles to put on top of the candles. And this one right now is currently in my bathroom because I'm kind of just burning through it as a, uh, you know, mood setting. Like if I'm taking a bubble bath or something because it doesn't have a strong holiday fragrance. And I love strong smelling candles. Okay, last one. Thanks for staying with me, guys. Um, this one is a double because this is a small votive holder. This is by Party Light. I owned these in the early 2000s. And at some point, I got rid of them. And they found me again at a thrift store. And I bought them at the thrift store. And so now I have a new set of these. Um, it is my intention to continue to buy these if ever I find them again. They were very popular at the time. It's like the green bottom purple middle, kind of a pink translucent top. It's very, it looks very 90s, but it was definitely like mid 2000s or something like that. Maybe the late 90s when they came out with these. Um, but then I also found the corresponding votives at a thrift store that go in these. So this was just a couple of dollars and I find a lot of Party Light stuff. Party Light, for those of you who are too young, um, Gen Zers, I, I don't even know if they're still around, but Party Light was like a hen party. Um, so like you would have these parties and instead of like jewelry or like Pampered Chef, you would purchase candles. And their votives are a different size. Like you can see this is more of a standard votive and this is a Party Light votive. So they're smaller, they're somewhere between a tea light and a votive. And that's why you need the party light holders. And they just, they pop right in there. Um, if they ever, they don't usually leave a lot of wax. Party light burns pretty clean all the way through. But if ever it did, you could just pop this glass container into the freezer uh, and then pop out whatever little bit of wax would happen to be in the bottom. Typically, typically not a problem with party light because it burns very clean. Um, and again, all of that came from thrift stores. This one says $3.99. Um, I have three of these left. I think I've already burned a couple. And they were the scent that was on the box, which was wild blueberry. So they are, they are blue. They do still smell a little bit. Party Light is not my favorite because um, they are not very strongly scented. However, um, I do love how clean they burn and I love their accessories. So this has been... And incredibly long for Thrifting Thursday. I try to keep Thrifting Thursday short and quick around five minutes. This has been almost 
10 minutes of candle time. If you are here and you have not liked and subscribed by this point, you really need to, because if this 10 minutes made your day joyful, please come along with me on this journey as we thrift and yard sale all summer long. That is one of the major things we do here. MRS stands for mostly random shit. So you will see a variety of things on this channel, but Thrifty Thursday is going to be a constant. A lot of good feedback on it. So thank you for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.